As some states pass voter reform, DNC pushes federal control of election bill. And I'm calling this voter reform bill targets filibuster as means to, quote, honor John Lewis. So this voter reform bill that they're passing through the well, that has now passed. It's 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 passed the House. It's now sitting in the Senate, and right now it can't be done because of the filibuster rule. So they are seeking to end the filibuster rule as a means to pass the voter reform bill. So they want to basically make the Senate a pure mob democracy, like the House is. The House is designed to somewhat be a mob democracy, and the Senate is meant to be more of a a republic. So. A little bit uh, got got restraints on fast acting. That's the way it's designed. Uh, why it was designed that way? Well, that's another matter altogether. It's it's not for noble reasons. I'll just say that it has to do with the reality of power. I'm sure I'll have opportunity in future shows to talk about that. But I'm calling this well. The, 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 the well, I should say that this is a topic report, and the topic is voting rights reform bill law Jim Crow. And our top story here, RNC assaults Democrats HR1 as a hostile takeover of the election process from Fox News. Well, yeah, it's basically going to federalize election laws uh, in whether it does it through this bill directly or it just simply sets the precedent that allows more bills to follow. It federalizes election laws. Remember that the DNC, the corporate nationalist DNC, the right left authoritarian corporate nationalist DNC has no time for a small, uh, what is it? Small, yes, yeah, small R Republican form of government, a government that has checks and balances that keeps the mobocracy from, well, that keeps the the controllers of culture from utilizing the mob to enact draconian measures in times of crisis. That's essentially what the DNC wants to remove. They want to remove, in essence, the Bill of Rights from preventing them, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution in general, from preventing them from being able to manipulate mobs quickly and easily so they can get these 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 quote-unquote reforms put into place based upon the plea of the needy that they will use to control the very people who are clamoring for these controls. So black America, I don't know how much you support the voter reform bill, but if you think that it's designed to actually bring black Americans any type of freedom, liberty, prosperity, you're dead wrong. It's all about empowering the corporate nationalists to use their means of cultural control to whip low IQ low IQ voters across the board of all races, genders, and everything else so that they can gain more and more control over our lives. And we will beg them for more control over our lives because we will believe the lies and the hate and the venom and the manipulations that they spread throughout these means of uh, cultural control. When somebody says that the Democrats are winning the culture war, that is a lie. The Democrats aren't winning the culture war. There is no culture war. There are compete. There are cultures in America. There are multiple cultures in America. The Democrats have won the corporate war. They have seized the means of corporate power, and they're using it to create the acceptable, the orthodox culture of the day. But I, I, I don't really believe that they're changing significantly hearts and minds as much as they're making making people fear. Uh, the the blowback they might get if they dissent from the culture that they wish to push on the rest of us. And this is from Yahoo News Axios. This is bills introducing introduced restricting or expanding voting access by state. So we have let me see here. So we have each state is sized by the total number of voting access relating bill provisions. So Texas is the biggest, uh, most expansive, 155. North Carolina is uh, the most, uh, or, or only one provision, and it's so-called ex restrictive, and this is expansive. And so you can see you got Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Idaho, all kinds of states here. And uh, do I see our home state here where I'm reporting from is Pennsylvania, and I don't see them on the list, although I have heard uh, rumblings that... Uh, that something is in the works in that front. Honor John Lewis and voting. There you go. This is this this honored. So John Lewis is a a a black man who 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 died, 
And so they're using they're using a corpse. They're using uh, racism, bigotry, again as a shield to combat any dissent, any any type of intellectual or uh, any logical, ethical, or constitutional resistance to this this federal seizure of, of voting of voting laws of voting power voting law power uh, as as a as a weapon to bludgeon dissent and this is from Daily Coast which is one of the worst not the worst but one of the worst it's not as bad as politics USA they're they're absolutely maybe the worst uh, let's see the excerpt from John MacArthur so Joanne Joan MacArthur and a self-identified here well now you are self-identified corporate nationalist a a a right left authoritarian corporate nationalist Co- Joan McCartner who champions federal control of voting power in America fundamentally against the whole concept of an Amer- of a republic as opposed to a police state basically I certainly think our focus ought to be on the Lewis bill and voting rights said representative Anthony Brown of Maryland a member of the CBC you would think that that would provide a real good opportunity for a handful of Democratic senators who want to hold on to the filibuster Uh, I don't know Uh, so so what they're saying is if you want to preserve the filibuster pass the voting rights bill so they're threatening the filibuster. So pass the voting right bills or the fo- filibuster grows. And then you got Jim Crow smears against state re- uh, voting reform bills, insult black people. That's from Daily Signal. So, yeah, using racism, bigotry to silence dissent, which you would only do as a political party if you knew that the corporate nationalists who control the means of cultural production have your back. And they do.